What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Better Enchanting mod, and what this mod does is it allows you to actually choose what you want that item to be enchanted to do. So instead of randomly guessing to get a good enchantment and wasting XP, you'll be able to pick exactly what you want it to be enchanted to do. So let me go ahead and hop my world here, and go down to my enchantment room in my castle here. And I will show you exactly how to use this mod. Alright, so here we have the enchanted, if I can get in the door, the enchantment room. So all you need, of course, is an enchanting table and whatever item you want to enchant. So if we go ahead and open up the table, you can see we have more options here. Um, the up and down, switch, and enchant. So if I go ahead and set this in here, you can see we have sharpness, smite, band of anthropods, knockback, fire aspect, looting, and unbreaking. So I like to have sharpness. So you can see once I get this, that's all the way up to that sharpness 5. Knockback, I like to have knockback up. So that's at knockback 2, fire aspect. So now that you see that I put fire aspect at level 2, I am no longer able to enchant it. So you're not able to go crazy with the enchantments, but you can do still do what you want. And I can't have looting. See if I put unbreaking on, and I can't have unbreaking. So you are limited to what you're doing, what you're able to do with this still. But now I have that, I can go ahead and click on enchant, and now I have the item enchanted. And if you click on switch, you can go ahead and go through and change what you have it enchanted to do. So there we go. That is at sharpness five, knockback two, fire aspect one. So you can also do this with a bow. Um, I do not have enough um, enchantment or XP points anymore, but I can still show you that this is how it all works um, with the bow. So that is the enchantment table, or the enchantment better enchanting mod. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, which is WinRAR 7 zip or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in the tutorial. Then you're going to need to download the Better Enchanting mod itself. So to download the Better Enchanting mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. I know it says unofficial, but the mod still does work, as you can see I showed you. Um, the reason it's unofficial is because the original creator has stopped updating the mod, but someone else has come along and updated it for us to 1.2.5. So you want to scroll down to the download section and go ahead and click on show. And then we're, be, we're going to be doing the client install. So go ahead and click on the download under the client version. And this will take us over to Mediafire and go ahead and click on download to download the mod. So that is how to download the mod that we're going to be installing. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your .minecraft, open your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with, then select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you're not going to need your bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up the better enchanting mod. Now you do not want to put the readme text in your minecraft jar, so what you want to do is click on the very first class hold shift and then click on the last class right before the readme text and drag these class files into your minecraft jar and hit ok now take the very last class file and drag that into your minecraft jar as well and hit ok now you can go ahead and close the better enchanting mod now in your minecraft jar you should see a folder called meta inf if you do not have this folder that is ok you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you're going to close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time.